I'm Dr. John Gellies from the Cornea and Laser Eye Institute and the CLEI Center for Keratoconus in Teaneck, New Jersey. Today, I'm going to show you how to take photos and videos of your eye using your smartphone for your upcoming telemedicine visit. For this, you're going to need a clean, clear bathroom mirror and your smartphone. On your smartphone, you're going to go ahead and open up your camera app. And from here, you're going to go ahead and put your zoom in the range of 2 to 2.5. Next, you're gonna go ahead and turn your flash on. Once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and hold the phone up in the horizontal orientation. Once you're there, I want you to go ahead and start bringing the phone in towards your eye. You wanna be about four inches away from the eye before you take the image, okay? Once you're there, you wanna make sure that your eye is nice and centered within the frame and it fills the frame. Once you're there, you want to go ahead and capture the image either by pressing the button here or by using your volume buttons to capture the image. So let's go ahead and do one right now. Perfect. And you want to go ahead and review your image and make sure that it's nice and clear. You want to make sure that your image looks somewhat like this. You can see how we're nice and clear, everything's in focus. That's going to allow for perfect evaluation of the eye. If you're too close to the eye, the image will come out blurry. If you're too far away from the eye, even if the image is clear, we're not going to be able to get the details necessary to evaluate the eye. Your doctor may have you look in a various gaze, so looking straight ahead, looking up, looking down, looking left, right, holding a lid down while looking up, holding an upper lid, or even flipping a lid. Your doctor will specify what they need to best take care of you. Now, to take a video, it's very much the same process. You're going to go ahead and open up your camera app, go to the video mode, and then turn your flash on, and then bring your zoom into the range of 2 to 2.5. Once you have that achieved, again, looking at the reflection of your display in the mirror, you want to go ahead and make sure that your eye is aligned here. So what we're going to do is once it's aligned and in frame, you want to go ahead and start the capture. At that point, you're going to go ahead and do what your doctor has directed. It may be take some blinks, open your eye wide, look up, take some blinks, look to your left, look to your right, look down, and then go ahead and stop your capture once you've gotten all the views that are asked for. At that point, you want to make sure that your, uh, your video is no longer than 10 seconds in length. If it's longer than that, your doctor may not be able to receive it because the file size will be too large. If you have a family member or a friend available to go ahead and take your images for you, they're going to use the exact same setup that you used. You're going to have them set the phone to a zoom of 2 to 2.5, go ahead and turn the flash on, and then hold the phone about 4 inches away from your eye and take an image or a video of one eye at a time. Once all that's taken care of, you can submit those photos and videos to your doctor for evaluation. With that, I'll thank you for your time, and I hope you have a pleasant telemedicine visit.